Welcome to Hodgepunk, and the very first installment of a segment called This is a Bad Idea. This is going to be a recurring segment where we look at things that are just really a bad idea to do, but then try to do them in the safest way possible. Today it's going to be pouring molten salt into melons. I'm going to be using common table salt, which melts at 1474 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 801 degrees Celsius, and that's really hot. So hot that it just sets things on fire when it comes into contact with them. It also happens to be a substance that, when it comes into contact with water, creates a very violent reaction, and thus will make the melons detonate. Walking across with the tongs, putting the crucible into the rig, and then it's time to pull the string. I think this is just beautiful to watch, as the melon bursts apart, and then pieces go everywhere. Watch carefully, and you're going to see a piece of melon go towards the camera pretty soon, followed by what I think is a seed. And it drops into frame right now. There's other videos already out there of people pouring molten salt into and onto things. And what people are wearing when they're doing this is sometimes insane. I'm talking a Hawaiian t-shirt and shorts, for example, with a lot of exposed skin. I mean, what's the point of even wearing welding gloves? and a face shield if you have the wrong stuff on the rest of you. So what I did is I took two piece, I, almost identical pieces of meat, put one of them inside of a, the sleeve of a cotton t-shirt, the other one I put underneath some leather, which is very similar to the kind of leather that I'm wearing in this footage. And I'm going to pour molten salt on these two and show you the difference between what happens when you might, I don't know, accidentally pour molten salt on yourself when you're doing a test like this. Now this footage is really beautiful. I love the fire and the salt looks like just water falling on this material. But also notice that when it hits, things burst into flames. The end result of this is pretty bad news. You can see that the bit of shirt that was wrapped around the meat is just obliterated and what's left behind is, well, cooked meat. Underneath the piece where there was a bit of leather in the way, things look pretty good. Still, this is not something that you would ever want to have happen to you. The watermelon was a lot of fun, so I wanted to see what would happen with a cantaloupe. I think the cantaloupe has a much stronger outer structure. You can see it bounce and ripple from the pressure, but it all holds together. The result was with the cantaloupe was dissatisfying, therefore, why not explode another watermelon? I want to give a huge thank you to my friend Zachary Brown, an amazing videographer that made these high-speed shots possible. Let's take a look at a couple of the shots that were my favorite from the day. I just love that in this shot, the melon basically gets flattened against the ground before the pieces start to bounce away. And the little fly said, this noise. And then my absolute favorite, if you watch the right side, you see this flame bloom outward towards the right-hand side of the screen. So pretty. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to check out some more of my friend Zach's work, click on the link in the description. And finally, did any of you notice the pig? Be very careful, because he stares at your soul.